Let's graph the linear equation 3x plus y equals 3. And we're going to use slope-intercept form to do that. So we need to get the equation here in slope-intercept form. Let's do this. Let's subtract 3x from both sides. That'll give us y equals 3 minus 3x. But let's move the 3 here and then everything over. So now we have this in slope-intercept form. We have our slope, negative 3, and then we have our y-intercept, that's 3. So to graph the equation 3x plus y equals 3, our y-intercept, that's 3. So we go to the y-axis, we find 3, and that's where we're going to intercept the y-axis. Next, instead of just negative 3, let's call it negative 3 over 1. We're just dividing by 1. We don't change anything, but now we can say rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept, we're going to rise negative 3. If it was just 3, we'd go 1, 2, 3 up, but it's negative, so we go in the opposite direction. We go 1, 2, 3 down, and then we run 1 to the right. Let's do that again. We go from the new point here, negative 3. We rise negative 3. That means we go down 1, 2, 3, and we run 1 to the right. You can see our line there. Let's put a line through that. And then we'll put arrows here on the end to show that it goes to infinity. So that's the graph for 3x plus y equals 3. We have a slope of negative 3. You could call it negative 3 over 1 if you wanted, and a y-intercept of 3. If you used a table of values to graph this equation, 3x plus y equals 3, you'd get the same line. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.